Hey everyone, welcome to Craft Central Designs. My name is Dwyn. Check out this so cute Easter decor bunny made from a clay pot. I'm going to show you how I made this. If you like what you see on my channel, please subscribe. Now let's get busy on this totally cute Easter rabbit. Let's see what items we need for this project. I picked up this clay pot in the garden section at Dollar Tree. The ears I made from a um, batting, a heavy batting material that comes by the yard on a bolt. I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby. Uh, the paper template I just drew freehand um, to cut out the ears. This felt came from Dollar Tree. It comes with four little mini rolls in a pack. I really love this felt. It has little polka dots on it. That's for the inside of the ear. Um, I had picked up this ribbon at Hobby Lobby. It's a wired ribbon, very good quality. And these are some burlap ribbons that I picked up on Amazon at some point in time. <laughs> and this is a pack of buttons with that satin covered buttons. They work very well for eyes. This is my little quilling glue. Great dispenser with a tiny tip. That's a felt flower that I picked up at Dollar Tree. These are little half rounds covered with fabric. I picked these up at Amazon. This is great for a little nose for the bunny. And jute twine from Dollar Tree. Of course, we have to have pipe cleaners and a tool to keep me from burning myself. A clip very handy for forming the ears and some Snow White Waverly chalk paint. Paintbrush, a tray, pencil for tracing around the template, a pair of scissors and a paper towel. All right, so let's get busy painting this clay pot. I ended up putting two full coats of the Waverly Snow White chalk paint on this pot. And then for the final coat, I used a regular um, acrylic. I believe it was Apple Barrel, a white uh, color and acrylic, just to give it a nice finish. All right, so we have to trace um, around our uh, templates but in this case I'm not going to draw it out I'm just going to follow around the template with my scissors and we cut around the ear there trimming it up a bit and I do trace around the template with a pencil on this felt this is the, for the inside of the ears on the bunny. Just a light tracing with my pencil so that I can cut it out. And now we're gonna cut around the, um, the lines that I traced. And this is gonna go, as I said, on the inside of the bunny ear. You want the wrong sides of the fabric together so the fuzzy side will be facing out. Trim it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and only on one side of the ear, I'm gonna put a very fine, fine stream of glue hot glue only on one side initially and I'll tell you why in just a minute okay now on the other side of the ear I'm going to place a pipe cleaner along the edge I'm doing this because I want the uh, ability to bend the tip of the ear you'll see what I mean by that in a minute it really adds to the cuteness of the, uh, the ear on the bunny. We're gonna snip that excess off. And now we're gonna glue down the other side. 
again with a very fine um, stream of glue. Be careful not to burn myself, which I do on a very regular basis. <laughs> One of the hazards of crafting, I guess. All right, so now we're gonna press that together. Make sure it's nice and solidly glued there. Now we have a very cute bunny ear and you see what I did there? Now I'm able to bend the little bunny ear over. It adds to the cuteness. Okay, now we're going to glue down the inside of the ear. I use my little um, glue dispenser here. It has a very fine tip. You can find this in the quilling department at Hobby Lobby. And inside of that glue dispenser, it's just Elmer's glue. This is really good um, dispenser to use, glue dispenser, because it, it gives you just the tiniest stream of glue. And so it won't show through the felt or glob up and, and create a lumpy texture to your felt. Okay, now we have both bunny ears. And I decided, because there's a little bit of a burlapy jute feel, if you will, to this bunny, I wanted to use some of that jute twine from Dollar Tree and outline the pink inside of the ear. So I'm using my little fine tip glue dispenser. And as you can see there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, outline all of that pink. All right, so I've done so. Now I'm going to let those dry for a few minutes. Now I'm going to create the bow that I'm going to use on um, right next to the ears. You'll see that you'll probably remember from looking at the initial pictures of the bunny that there's a very cute bow at the top, right by the ears. So I decided to use this burlap ribbon. It has kind of a netted texture for the base of the bow. Again, I'm going for like a burlapy jute kind of a theme on this rabbit. Forming my bows. This isn't, again, not a bow tutorial, but I always do my bows the same. Check out my tutorials how to make bow and how to make a mixed ribbon bow. And pretty soon you're gonna pick up this technique and you're going to love it. This bow is a two loop bow on each side or four loops all together. This is just gonna be the base of my bow. So in other words, this is a mixed ribbon bow. Again, watch the video. Now we're gonna use our pink ribbon and this is also going to be a four loop bow or two loops on each side. It's a nice wired ribbon, so it's really gonna hold its shape very well. And again, the technique, you could learn that on my videos. But you can see I just fold it over, pinch it in the middle, and I take a pipe cleaner wrap it around to secure those four loops that I just made. Twist the pipe cleaner in the back, cut it off. And there you have a four loop bow. I'm gonna cut off the tail there. This bow is going to have a felt flower right in the middle. It's so cute. Now I keep looking at the pinks, all the different pinks. I think there must be like a thousand shades of pink <laughs> in this world because it's so hard to match up pinks without having them clash. But I think this combination will do. They're not exactly the same but coordinate enough to, uh, to use them for this project. Now I'm gonna take this pink bow and attach it to 
the burlap bow. So now we have a mixed ribbon bow. I'm gonna pull those pipe cleaners around in the back, give them a good twist, make sure that everything is secure there. Form my loops a little bit. And that bow's gonna sit right on top of the pot with the ears behind it. You can see I'm testing it out there. All right, so now I have my felt flower right in the middle of my bow. So cute. All right, now I decided I wanted to put something um, along the bottom just to dress it up a little bit something a little uh, burlap. So I choose, chose that trim there, which came in a package that I had ordered on Amazon that must have been like 10 different kinds of uh, burlap ribbons. They have a good assortment on Amazon. So I ran a little stream of glue there, right down the center of the rim of that pot. Make sure that's secure and glued down, snip it off, meeting right up against where we started. Again, testing out the bow there, <laughs> making sure everything's going to look just right. All right, so now we're going to make the whiskers. So what we need to figure out how long of a piece of jute uh, twine we need. And um, we're gonna cut three pieces exactly the, the same. And we're gonna form the whiskers for the bunny. Now this jute twine has a mind of its own. So it goes this way and that way and curls all different directions. So I'm gonna have to train these whiskers, if you will, to be straight and what I'm going to do in order to achieve that look is I'm going to use some Mod Podge, but first I'm going to attach that polka dotted half round there to the middle, and that's gonna secure all of those three pieces of jute twine. That's gonna be the whiskers. Put a little dab of glue on there. and put, place that right in the middle. Now all the whiskers are attached and together. And I'm gonna make sure the size is right. But as you can see, those little jute twine strings are just going every which way. So now we're gonna take some Mod Podge. And this is a great trick for, for stiffening um, these whiskers or anytime you want to stiffen something up if you put Mod Podge on it it will really help so I took a little applicator and now I'm going to get very messy here and I'm going to put a hearty amount of Mod Podge on these um, whiskers or the jute twine I'm going to really load up the Mod Podge on there nice and thick. And I'm gonna lay it down and straighten those jute twine whiskers out. We're gonna let it sit there for a while. I put, ended up putting it on a piece of cardboard so that I could uh, keep straightening. Periodically, you need to go uh, tend to it and straighten those, make sure that those whiskers are straightening. But don't leave it on the cardboard too long because then it will adhere to the cardboard. 
So now I'm going to put my little rabbit eyes on. And that's those little satin covered buttons that I got at Hobby Lobby. They work really well for eyes. Little dab of glue. And now we'll put the other eye on. Okay. And now we have two eyes on our bunny. Next thing we're gonna do is blush up the cheeks a little bit. So I used a little bit of pink paint and I'm gonna dry brush a little bit of rosy cheeks on my, uh, my rabbit here. Be sure your brush is really, really dry. Um, and then you're just gonna use a circuit of motion and put a little bit of blush on the cheeks. If you overdo and you get a blob of pink paint, no worries. Just go in after you're all done, put a little white back on your brush and do the same thing. Just kind of blot the white over any areas that you got a little bit too much uh, pink paint and everything will be fine. Okay, now we're gonna take those whiskers and put them on the face of the bunny. I also put a little tiny dot of white on the eyes. Oops, oh, sorry. I guess we're not putting the whiskers on yet. I've decided to make a little bow because I felt it needed something at the bottom. Now, if you recall seeing the original um, video of the rabbit this bow did not actually make it onto the rabbit because I figured out in the end that it was a little bit too big but it never hurts to see me make a bow this one is a one loop on each side bow so it's two loops in total with a button in the middle so it's just a very quick uh quick version of me making a two loop bow Again, like I said, I didn't end up using this, but it's a very cute little bow anyway. All right, now we are actually going to attach the whiskers. A little dab of glue right in the middle there between the eyes. And there we have the whiskers. So cute. We could trim those up later if they're too long or there's a lot of little frayed hairs on that jute twine. All right, let's put the ears together. We're gonna pinch those ears right in the middle. I'm showing you what I did there. Pinch it. And you're gonna form the, the bottom of the ear by pinching that fabric together. And then you're gonna fold back the sides right at the bottom, just like I just did. So I'm going to put some glue in the back there to hold that fold that you made. And again, on the other side. Need a little extra glue there. 
You want to be sure that the the base of that ear is is well glued so that it keeps its shape. All right, now I'm going to put the ears on. Now I notice that I'm going to position them a little bit toward the back of the top of the clay pot because I have to fit that bow in front of the ears. See how I turned the tips of the ear over? That was my reason for the pipe cleaner. It's so cute. Really adds character to this cute little bunny. All right, now we're gonna put that bow on. So we have a little bit of room on there. So we're going to squirt a bunch of glue in there. Um, we're gonna put that bow on there and really push that in there. It's actually gonna adhere a little bit to the base of the ears as well as the top of the pot. So you wanna hold that there to get a really, really good solid hold. Press it down and hold it. All right, oh my gosh, it's getting cuter by the minute. All right, so what I decided to do, I still wanted to put something down there at the bottom, but I decided to make something much smaller. So I used just this little piece of pink satin. I did a tiny little two loop on each side bow or four loops all together. And again, I'm back to these uh, little flowers that I found in the sewing department at uh, Walmart. They're like a resin or an acrylic, something of that nature. So I decided to use a little white flower from that pack. And I put it right in the middle of that bow. And this was just like the final touch that really made this um, cute bunny. So I'm gonna put it at the base, not in the middle, but just a little bit off to the side. And I'm gonna put a little dab of glue there. Press that on, hold it for a secure hold. Sorry, a little bit out of frame there. I was concentrating on the placement. So there you go. Now you could take those, I love those little tiny scissors that I got from Dollar Tree. And I just went around the whole bunny, just trimming up any of those jute hairs, I call them jute hairs, um, any place that needed um, trimming up. Savannah, is that mommy's carrot? What are you doing with my carrot? Do you know anything about taking that off the table? Savannah, look at me. Did you do it? And one last final thing I added to the bunny was a cotton bunny tail. Um, they came in a large package at Dollar Tree and I put a little ribbon across the back of the ear just to finish it. And here we have our collection of bunnies. <laughs> if you want to see how to make any of these, these other two bunnies, there's a videos to watch on those on my channel. And here we have one last look at this super cute Easter bunny with the little ears that bend over. So cute. If you like what you see on my channel, please subscribe. And until next time, take care.